So here we have the Hyundai Tucson on a 20 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. And then underneath this tray section, a space saver spare wheel. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 8,653. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information that's displayed there by using buttons on the steering wheel for various different menus as well. Uh, the buttons that I was using are just here. We've also got cruise control and speed limiter over that side as well. On the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls, including voice activation for your phone. You won't be able to use that until such time as you repaired the phone up. And that is done on the touchscreen in the center, just here. Uh, if you hit all menus, uh, and then phone, and then just follow instructions on screen from there. When it comes to music, you can listen to your own music under the media heading. Nothing is connected at the moment, which is why it won't work. You can connect up a USB device and an auxiliary device. You can also stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. If the USB device you plug in is your smartphone, you've either got Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, depending on the phone you've got, of course. When it comes to uh, the radio, uh, this car's got DAB, FM, and AM radio. We've also got satellite navigation. There's a full video that shows how that works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel. And if I pop the car into reverse, you'll also see we have a full color reversing camera with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image being shown on the screen. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in once it enters the car and then turn your air conditioning on and it'll be on. Oh, you can tell it's on because of that light. It also says AC just here as well. Uh, you can turn it off the same way you turned it on. When it's on, you can hit auto should you wish to. The car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking control of the fan speed and the direction of the air for you. Any manual adjustment will turn auto off. We have a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings and the same over on the passenger side as well. Underneath that, we have two 12 volt charging sockets, auxiliary and USB inputs. You can, uh, if you put your mobile phone on here and your phone is able to charge wirelessly, it will begin to charge. You'll get a little light come on in here to let you know that that is happening. And obviously you'll be able to see on your phone as well. We have a six speed manual gearbox and then these buttons just here. So you can turn the parking sensors on and off you can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is now off. And then these last two, I will show you up on the main screen. So the first one turns on downhill brake control. The second one will change your driving mode from sport to normal. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.